Have you ever wondered how long to whip the meringue when making macarons? The thing is, there is no right answer. Whipping time depends on a lot of things. Instead, let's focus on what consistency the meringue should have when it's properly whipped. First thing to notice is the meringue raising in the center of the bowl around the whisk and the whisk leaving strict marks on the meringue as it whips. Now let's check. First, when you swirl the whisk in the bowl to collect the meringue, you should feel some resistance. This peak is about 2 to 3 inches long. It is not bending down to the side, but instead it's shooting straight up. On the bottom of the whisk, you can notice the collected meringue is forming soft but defined waves. With the underwhipped meringue, you won't feel much resistance at all from strilling the whisk in the bowl. The underwhipped meringue has a long, elastic peak, way too elastic and soft, and it bends down to the side. And with the overwhipped meringue, you'll feel a lot of resistance when strilling the whisk in the bowl. The overwhipped meringue has many peaks and a lumpy look. And notice how it falls into chunks when we transfer it to the bowl. There's no elasticity to it at all. Now you know.